Hey everyone, I'm Nick and welcome to the channel. Now this is the Minix CP89HD, which I reviewed a little while ago on the channel. Now I've actually been using it in my cars for a little while now and it's been great, but there's a question that a lot of you have been asking and that is how can I change the boot logo when it starts up? So today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware and how to get a custom boot logo like this. And maybe you can do that. But there's also one more thing and that's in CarPlay we're also going to be able to customize the logo that returns us to the main screen. So right here, where it used to be an image of a car, you can put whatever you want. So we'll cover that too. So let me show you how to update and customize the Minix CP89 HD. All right, so to update the CP89 HD, we're going to go to theminixforum.com, then we're going to scroll down to Minix Accessories and CarPlay Android Auto Accessories. Then we'll go to CP89HD. And then right here we have the two posts we want to look at. So the first one is version 0.0.10 .0 firmware, which is the latest firmware at the time of recording this video. And you can download the file right here. And then we also want to check in the post for version 0.0.9 because in here there's a link to the zip file which contains the logo change instructions. So we're also going to download this. Now I've downloaded both of these right here and they're two zip files so I'm going to open both zip files and right here I have the update zip file so these are the files we're going to be putting on a flash drive. So right here there's some instructions you need a FAT32 thumb drive and then just put those files in the root of the folder so it's going to be scripts update and the signature. But in addition to this, we also want to look at the logo file. So this is the extracted change logo zip file. We're going to extract the boot logo BMP all folder and the logo folder. So our logo folder here contains the factory Minix logo right here and the CarPlay logo, which is the one you'll see in Apple CarPlay to return to the Minix interface. So we could change both of these. Now in the boot logo BMP all, this is a whole list of included logos for a bunch of brands. So as you can see, we have Honda, we've got Cadillac, Peugeot, Suzuki, Kia, BMW, Subaru, almost everything you can think of. So I'm gonna pick, we'll start with Land Rover. So I'm actually gonna copy this file and I'm going to paste it into the logo folder. And what we're going to do, we're, we want to replace this. So we want to actually, we can delete this and you want to rename this to just bootlogo.bmp. So we're going to take out the numbers and leave it at that. I'm going to leave the CarPlay logo, but you can replace that too. In the instructions PDF, there's some notes about how to, like what the steps are to do this and the requirements, but we'll go into that a little later. Now what we're gonna do with this logo folder that has the image we wanna use for the boot image is we're going to go in the update folder, the firmware update that we're gonna put on the flash drive, we're gonna go to the update folder and we're gonna just drag this logo folder with the new image into there. And then we're gonna copy this into the fla a flash drive. So I have a blank FAT32 drive and I'm just going to copy everything except the PDF. Pop that in. And there we go. And I'm going to eject that and then we're going to update it. So as we boot it up to get it ready to update, let's see the standard Minix logo. Now let's go into our settings. We're going to go to about you can see here, got the option for system update. You can see I'm actually on version 0.05. So it'd be a nice step up. Now what we want to do here is plug in our USB drive into this USB port here. So the bottom one down here is marked with a lightning bolt for power. This one is marked as USB. So plug in my adapter. And then we'll go to system update. Mm 
Okay, well, update logo. Need to restart the car, all right. So I'm going to unplug this. Now we're gonna reboot. Now we have a nice Land Rover logo, awesome. Now let me go back to the computer and let's go make a custom image for our boot logo. All right, so I'm back at the computer and looking at the instructions, we need to have a bitmap file that's 24-bit, 1920 by 720, and 300 dpi for the boot logo, and a 180 by 180 pixel at 72 dpi for the icon. So I've prepared in the update folder, I've replaced the images in the logo. I've made bootlogo.bmp with my channel logo and carplaylogo.bmp with my channel logo as well, meeting those criteria. So let's take these and put them on the head unit. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this back in with our new logos. Now we're gonna power this on. Go to settings. Oh, update logo. So it just does it automatically if without having to reinstall everything. Now we're gonna reboot this. You push the button on the back. Reboot. All right, there we go. Nice. And at this point, I realized I must have made a mistake somewhere because the car icon hadn't changed. So I realized why it didn't change the image in the CarPlay home, and that is because I made a small mistake and I thought it was a BMP, but it's a PNG for that image. So just to reiterate, the boot logo is a BMP file and the CarPlay logo is a PNG. Then you wanna make sure it's renamed properly and that way it'll update. So let's get back to the unit and update them and see how they look. Okay, we've updated our logos. So this is the original one, it hasn't been changed yet. Pop back out, reboot, and there we go. There's the logo. So you can put whatever you want. You could put your car logo, the car brand, any picture you like, and yeah. And it looks nice and sharp too, just like everything else because of the resolution and DPI that they require. So, great. So that's how we update the firmware and the logos within the interface. So while we're here, it's a good time to talk about my experience with the CP89HD since I first checked it out months ago on the channel. Minix actually sent it to me a little bit before it was released, which was really cool. And I kept using it after I first checked it out. It was in the white Range Rover Sport for months until I upgraded its radio recently. And you can check out that video here or in the description. It was mostly used with Android Auto and it always connected quickly and reliably when the truck powered on. The mounting was rock solid the whole time too with the sticky suction cup base that we got in the kit. I read in some comments in the previous video that there was an issue with the brightness resetting between the main interface and CarPlay or Android Auto, but that's actually one of the things that was fixed in the firmware update that we did in this video. Yep, keeps the brightness. So you can see right now it's reading it as night, so we're testing it here. But once you set it, it stays at the same brightness, so that's good. It's good to see that Minix has been keeping an eye out for issues and addressing them, and their staff are active on their forums too to help out with issues. The addition of the custom boot logo option is also great since you can tie it into your car to make it look like a factory option with the logo, or you can add a personal touch like I did. Overall, I still think it's a great option to add wireless Android Auto or Apple CarPlay to any car, and I'll be continuing to use it. If you want to get one for yourself, I'll leave links in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, or you want to watch me work on cars. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.